have going on now is we're going to be doing a basic lateral ankle taping. So this is when if you've injured your ATFL ligament here or your CFL ligament here. It's not the variations for any other parts. Now the big thing with this is it's very prominent to get tape cuts. So a tip ant tendon here, this one's quite prominent. So I'm going to show you something we can do to try and reduce the likelihood that that will have an impact. And along the Achilles is another area where we're prominent for tape cuts. So if you have access to some stretch tape, great. Pop that stretch tape, just making sure we cover it, almost like you would do if we were bandaging the ankle. We don't need the 75 millimeter like I've got here. 50 millimeter would be absolutely A-OK -okay or even something smaller because we only really want to be covering that part. Now this is where then with ankle taping, it all depends what sport you're doing as to certain variations. I'm gonna show you one more specific for AFL players. Now with AFL, AFL players need to all point their toes to kick a ball. So therefore, our, what we call sixes, which I'll show you in a minute, are not gonna come as low as what you might for someone playing netball or maybe a soccer player, for example, because their style of kicking is very different. So we're gonna start from the medial aspect or the inside of the ankle. We're gonna be coming just behind and on top of the malleolus, and we'll come around, it's that knobbly bony bit here, and we're gonna rip off, these are our stirrups, and you're gonna be doing exactly the same on the other side, so coming straight up. We're gonna be doing two of those overlapping by about 50%. You can see here that I'm keeping the tape taut, but not pulling off the skin. The other thing to note is making sure our ankle always remains at this 90 degrees position or as close to it as absolutely possible. So here we're now gonna be doing our sixes, starting from the inside, coming under the heel, and now for here, as I said, I'm doing more of what we call a high six, not a low six, because I want to still allow some of that pointing of the toe motion, which I'll show you soon. We're going to be doing two of those high sixes. So coming around again, under the base of the heel and up and over. You'll also note that what I typically do is pull a bit more tape than I need so that again, I'm not having to pull off the skin as I'm going around. Now, this is the confusing one, the heel lock. There are many ways to heel lock. I'm just gonna show you this one variation. I'm starting from the inside. I'm going under the heel, now around the back of the heel, making sure I stay in the heel itself and not going into the actual muscle part of the Achilles and then bringing it back to where the tape wants to roll. Don't try and force the tape to go in a direction it's not going to go. I'm now gonna reverse that and do one starting from the outside. You'll see again, I'm pulling out as much tape as I can. So starting from the outside, under the heel, around the back, and again, letting it land wherever it wants to land. But you can see here, I've still been avoiding this particular part of the ankle. So now I've done one anchor, two stirrups, two high sixes, two heel locks, to finish off, I just need to do one more anchor again to lock it all off. And that will finish off our basic lateral ankle tape. 